Saturday early evening at Madison Square Garden. And the Heat will wait to see who wins Chicago Atlanta. Let's check in with Lisa. Thank you, Mike. Joel, how are you guys able to figure out that zone and really get things going in, in the second half? Defense, um, not letting them set up for that zone, and then also we made shots. In the first half, we couldn't make anything. We had some trouble moving the ball, and then this guy, he just, you know, got us going. You told me before the game that you couldn't do it alone, Tyrese couldn't do it alone. It was going to take efforts like this from this guy. Just what impact did Nick have on this game on both ends? Everything. He's the reason why we won, you know. Made a couple of big shots, started to run. And then defensively, I think he was even better. Just getting into Jimmy, uh, Tyler. Uh, he, he committed a stupid foul, but, you know, we'll take it. Congratulations on the win, Nick. Just what was, you know, how did you know that you really had it going? What was the key to just everything working for you tonight? No, in the first half, you know, I was trying to get this guy the ball a bit too much. Uh -huh. And we had to be, had to be more aggressive for my shot. So I think I got three, four turnovers in the first half. I just started to, me and Buddy, when he came in, it was like, we got to shoot. And we did that. So, you know, front the floor for, for him and Tyrese. And we did a good job in single half. Congratulations on the win. Welcome to the first round of the playoffs. Thank we'll you. see you Sunday. Mike. All right, Lisa. He's been the ultimate pro for 16 years with Portland, with Charlotte, with the Clippers. And now in Philadelphia, obtained in that James Harden trade way back in November. Sixers survive 105-104. They'll play Saturday in New York. Hawks and Bulls are next. For Doris, JJ, Lisa, and our entire wonderful ESPN crew, Mike Breen saying good night from Philadelphia.